Hi. I don't know if you can even see me properly, but we're heading to the Cotswolds today. Heading to Worcester first for breakfast. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would introduce the video. This is the place that we found for breakfast. Um, we've got two coffees. It's called Papa's. And it's super reasonably priced as well. We're heading to a place called Bibbury or Bybury, but we've just been hit by Storm Freya and it is absolutely, the weather's just horrific. Um, I don't know if we're even gonna be able to go out and explore to be honest, but we're still gonna go um, and fingers crossed the weather lets up later in the day. It's about lunchtime, so hopefully by the time we get there, we'll be able to go out and explore. which is what I was telling you about, which is now owned by the National Trust and is one of the most photographed parts of the Cotswolds, actually appears in UK passports as well, on the inside cover of UK passports. So as soon as I get home, I'm gonna open my passport and have a look for it. Also, these cottages that we're gonna to visit today were built in the 14th century. They're now owned and lived in by, national, by the National Trust, but they were originally built in the 14th century, so they're pretty old. Let's go and explore and doesn't let as many tourists really okay a couple of tourists but not too many I, mean, I don't know why I say this because I'm a tourist myself really aren't I Bibbury is a typical Cotswolds village with pretty stone buildings that sit along the River Colne Arlington Row which I mentioned earlier is one of England's most photographed sites and you can honestly see why. It is beautiful here. I was too cold to get my camera out. Um, it's really quiet, so I don't wanna like talk too much. Lower and upper slaughter. So that's where I am now. We're gonna find somewhere for tea, I think. I think there's a tea room called, not Betty's, Lucy's tea room. So we'll have a look for that. And if that's shot, I'm sure we'll find somewhere else. Okay, 
exhausted, but we've just checked in to this beautiful hotel room. This is the bedroom and we've got a garden out the back which is private and it leads up to the spa. Wow. Um, and then this is my favourite. There's a little fireplace here and the bed and then the bathroom which I'll show you in a second. So this is called um, this is called the Cotswolds House Hotel. If you want to stay, I'll make sure to put a link in my description box because honestly, it's absolutely incredible. You get these this delicious um, box of cookies. It's just the coziest hotel room. So I'm really excited to get into bed, just relax here by the fire for a little bit, um, make a cup of tea and then plan tomorrow's adventure. For dinner, we headed down to the Knoll Arms, which is a traditional British pub with bare stone walls, oak wood beams, and open fires. The menu was chock full of delicious eats, but I went for the rosemary and garlic infused camembert, served with salt and pepper breadsticks to start with, which was creamy, gooey, and delicious. For mains, it had to be fish and chips for me. The fish and chips were flaky and fresh, and then their signature burger. For dessert, we went for the trio of ice cream, which was homemade and came with a delicious raspberry coolie, and of course, the sticky toffee pudding as well. So, we've just finished dinner at a pub called the Noel Arm. It was absolutely amazing. I have to say, it was probably the nicest starter I've had in a long time. We had the um, rosemary and garlic infused camembert to start with and it had delicious fish and chips which were so so good and then um, the trio of ice cream and sticky toffee pudding for dessert. It was delicious, oh my god. I've also found one of the most photographed houses in Chipping Camden. Um, it's got this beautiful thatched roof and it's also got two dog gargoyles outside um, and it's pretty beautiful. I can see why lots of people like taking pictures of it. It smells like there's a tractor or something behind me. I don't know what that is.
once again. Um, that's the end of our trip to the Cotswolds. We've had the most amazing time. I would recommend the Cotswolds from Manchester. It's only about two and a half, maybe three hours max. Um, and we always go to the Lake District or the Peak District. Why not the Cotswolds? Um, I just think that it's well worth it. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Cause I'm safe, yeah, cause I'm safe Ah, 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 